both put their minds together in order to come up with a potential solution for the growing crisis that is the loss of energy. They have thought of several different ways. They've thought of hydroelectric power, they've thought of solar power, they've thought of even wind-powered objects that could potentially harness just the natural resources that are so abundant in our Earth in order to create energy and use it more effectively, more cleanly, and most importantly, with the least cost. Now, here at Inverted, we believe we have found a great solution to two problems. One, the growing energy crisis, and two, the lack of exercise, aka obesity, in the country. In order to properly put this in perspective, I'm going to crunch some numbers. This is an inverter. And while you don't need to know the exact science behind how this thing works, you do need to know that the basics are it takes a direct current and turns it into an alternating current that can be used to power various different objects. The main idea is to take these inverters and connect them to bikes in order to harness the kinetic energy produced over time. It's environmentally friendly and lucrative for both the consumer and the company. There's a certain formula for determining the money saved from our inverters, as I have right over here. Now, in this formula, I, a capital I, so as not to confuse with the complex number, is the number of inverters produced. H is the assigned average hours per day, and D is the number of days in a year. This represents, this top equation right here, represents the number of watts produced. In order to come up with the number of kilowatts produced, we divide the number of watts produced by a thousand, because there are a thousand watts in a kilowatt. We then multiply this by 0.16, which is the average cost of a kilowatt in a typical American household. And this is the cost that the consumer may need to spend, assuming 1 in 15 machines breaks down. One should note that the numbers assigned here are in no way arbitrary. I counted the number of usable bicycles, 15, in the local YMCA and proceeded to ask a manager roughly how many hours per day each bicycle was used, the average delegated as 8 hours per day. What's more, the local YMCA is not open on special occasions and Christian holidays, so I put 350 in for D. The equation encompassed by 1 determines the total value of the saved energy, while equation 2 represents any possible malfunctions that could invariably occur at 1 15th of the prescribed amount of units which happens to be 15, multiplied by $50, the estimated cost at which the consumer would pay. The implications according to the calculation are wondrous. The local YMCA would save $641.21 a year fiscally and 4,320 kilowatts a year environmentally, while also incentivizing its consumers to in turn pedal for a better future. Critics will undoubtedly make the case that 4,320 kilowatts is just under half the amount of an average American household uses annually, deeming them insignificant. They will also neglect the fact that the inverters will pay themselves off in less than two years and, assuming that all 3,000 YMCAs across the world employ the relatively cheap inverted program, it will produce roughly 12,960,000 kilowatts per year, enough to ameliorate the environmental effects of just under 1,200 American households. Let's highlight some advantages of this program. One, of course, it is good for the environment. Two, it is both cheap and lucrative. Three, initial sales should be copious. There are, however, a couple of disadvantages to this program. One, difficulty in immediate immersion, and two, low starting funds. However, I am confident that with time, the product will be able to easily overcome these obstacles.